Hi, my name is Christian Holst. I'm co-founder of Baymart. In this video, I will demo UX Ray 2.0. So with UX Ray, you are essentially getting a website scanner that will provide actionable and research-based UX opportunities for your site along with a competitive UX benchmark. So it will scan your site, some of the pages you will upload yourself, um, if it's a order confirmation page or something like that that requires session data, you can scan literally any site. So both your own site, direct competitors, also sites that aren't in English. And you can also upload screenshots of pages that don't yet exist. So an upcoming design you intend on releasing two or three months from now, you can also scan. So what the tool does is that it analyzes the whole page according to Baymart's 150,000 hours of large scale UX research, and it then identify a number of UX opportunities. You're seeing some here, here I scanned ASICs. So in this demo, imagine that your website is ASICs and your two direct competitors are Under Armour and Adidas. So let's try to click one of the UX opportunities. Here you will see that, um, a UI aspect is called out here at ASICS. That's the filtering sidebar. And uh, it is referencing guideline 467, uh, which is on how users interpret and evaluate what filters to apply on a product listing page. And here, uh, the tool calls out that the implementation found at ASICS uh, is this, and that is a problem according to Baymar's large scale research on how users behave. It simply doesn't adhere to best practice uh, on, on how users behave and try to apply filters uh, on a listing page. Uh, and it then also shows what is the recommendation. So each of these opportunities, they are fully citable and traceable to Baymar's large scale research. That's important, of course, because your stakeholders will want to know why are we making these changes to our site. Now you have large scale research showing why do we want to make this particular change. If you want to know all the nitty gritty details, you can of course open guideline 467. Uh, that contain all the details of, of, uh, of, of the exact user behavior and the exact best and worst practice implementations. That's one thing the tool does. Another thing uh, that you may have noticed here is that it also calls out how the, uh, how the direct competitors are performing. So their implementations, you can see out here. Uh, in a direct head-to-head -head comparison, uh, but it also analyzed the competitor sites and here calling out that they indeed also have uh, a medium-sized uh, UX opportunity here uh, on their sites. So this is good for competitive analysis that you normally spend uh, weeks on conducting a competitive analysis of your site head-to-head uh, -head against a couple of direct competitors across uh, several UX parameters. This tool greatly speeds up that process and it also provides an unbiased uh, competitive analysis, calling out where are you performing at par with competitors, where you're ahead of the competition, and where are you behind the competition. So I'd encourage you to take a look at UX Ray and, uh, and try it out. There's actually one more thing that I wanted to show, and that is if you are on a max plan that enabled the competitor uh, UX benchmarking, then you also get an annual UX audit uh, or a baseline benchmark, we call it. Let me just enable it so you can see how that looks. Just quickly click enable here, reload the page over here. So what that does, this requires some manual work uh, on, on our end. It's of a single platform here of mobile. Um, but what this does is that it requires a manual auditing process by, from our team, but that is included on the max plan. Uh, so we'll basically assess one of your platforms once a year here, the uh, mobile platform, and it will then give you a UX performance scorecard like the one you're seeing here. Uh, this is uh, really good for stakeholder management and for planning roadmaps to understand how is our site performing across a very high number of UX heuristics uh, to then inform where should we focus our uh, improvement efforts. And you can, of course, also drill down and understand um, why are we performing like this with individual ratings on all these 250 parameters. It also means that you'll get a way more in-depth list of UX opportunities for your site. So this is also included uh, if you have the max plan. 